In December 2019, there is a cluster of pneumonia cases in China. Investigations found that it was caused by a previously unknown virus, now named the 2019 novel coronavirus. In this video, we're going to have a quick look what is currently known about the virus. Keep in mind that this is a new virus, and what's known about the virus now might change in the future. Coronaviruses are a large group of viruses. This virus consists of a core of genetic material surrounded by an envelope with a protein spike. This gives an appearance of a crown. In Latin, crown is called corona and that's how viruses get their names. There are different types of coronaviruses that cause respiratory and sometimes gastrointestinal symptoms. Respiratory disease can range from the common colds to pneumonia and to most people, symptoms can be mild. However, there are some types of coronaviruses that can cause severe disease. These include the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus, which first identified in China in 2003. And the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome coronavirus that was identified in Saudi Arabia in 2012. The 2019 novel coronavirus was first identified in China. It initially occurred in a group of people with pneumonia who have been associated with seafood and live animal market in the city of Huan, China. The disease has been spread from those who were sick to others including family members and healthcare staff. There are many cases at the present and the disease has spread within China and also to a number of other countries. So where did the virus come from? The coronavirus is becoming deadlier by the day. The death toll in China mounted overnight, killing it's known that coronavirus circulates in a range of animals. Sometimes these viruses can make the jump from animals to humans. This is called a spillover and to do to a range of factors such as mutations in the virus or increased contacts between humans and animals. For instance, MERS-CoV is known to be transmitted from camels and SARS-CoV from civet cats. The animal reservoir of the 2019 novel coronavirus is not known yet. The question is, how is it transmitted? The exact dynamics how the virus is transmitted is yet to be determined. In general, respiratory viruses are usually transmitted through droplets created when an infected person coughs or sneezes or through something that has been contaminated with a virus. People who are most at risk with coronaviruses are those who are in close contact with animals such as live animal market workers and those who are caring for people infected with the virus such as family members or healthcare workers. So, what are the symptoms of coronavirus? From what is known so far, there can be a number of symptoms ranging from mild to severe. There can be fever, respiratory symptoms such as cough and shortness of breath. In severe cases, there has been pneumonia, kidney failure, and death. How can we tell if someone is infected? The infection can be diagnosed by a test called PCR, polymerase chain reaction. This test identified the virus based on its genetic fingerprint. Currently, there is no medication for the virus and the treatment is supportive care. There is no vaccine to protect yourself from this virus. Treatment and vaccines are in development. How do we prevent transmission of the virus? This virus reach other countries. There are a lot of standard hygiene practices to protect yourself against infection and further spread. This includes covering your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing with a medical mask, tissue, or flex elbow. Avoiding close contact with those who are unwell. The appropriate wear of masks and personal protective equipment, especially in a healthcare setting. Washing your hands regularly with soap and water or alcohol-based hand rub. Actions that can be taken to avoid infections. Avoid unnecessary contact with the animals. Washing your hands after contact with the animals or animal products. And ensure that animal products are cooked thoroughly before consumption. It is also important if you feel unwell or sick stay at home but if you have a fever cough or difficulty breathing seek medical care as soon as possible and share your travel history with your health care provider this emerging and infectious disease and outbreak evolving rapidly 2019 novel coronavirus what is known about this virus might change for the most up-to-date information always check the following websites
we all have our struggles. Life is good, but it can be better. All you need is to train harder.